Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video we're going to have a look at how to deal with form events. Okay, so we're going to create a basic form and then just see how we can handle the submit event of that form. So here we are in our index dot um, sorry app dot js file, and we'll just I just created a simple controller um, called index controller, and it's an object controller. Um, in this video, it doesn't really matter. You can make it an array controller or just a simple controller. All right, so we'll go in our index.html and uh, inside the index template, I'll just create a simple form there. And the form will have inside of it a button, which is of type submit. And inside here, I'll just put submit. Okay, and we'll have another input there, but this time we won't use the native um, HTML input, we'll use um, handlebars input helper. And we'll just bind this value of the form to first name. In the controller, even though we haven't created first name property in the controller, it will automatically be created by Ember. Okay, so we want to create an action here that when this form is um, submitted, that um, Ember automatically pops up a message just showing us the name that we've bound here in this first in this value. So let's create something called action, and we'll say handle submit. I know some of you may be screaming that this is wrong, but there's a point I want to make. So inside here, the controller will have to have an actions hash and we'll have to create that function to handle it. So inside of our handlebars, we did something called handle submit, so we'll have to create one as well here. And that's a function. And inside there, we'll do alert. And we'll say the first name is and we just do the plus sign this dot get first name okay so just recap handle submit action we need an s here and inside handlebars um, form here we did an action to point to that function inside our controller so let's go in our browser and we refresh this so when i refresh um, as you can see even without submitting the form if i click on this input field here that will pop up um, that alert and say this first name is undefined and the reason for that is by default when you just do action and you um, specify the action name the default action that ember tends to capture is the click handler and when you click anywhere inside the form it bubbles up to the parent form here and then it catches it if you want to specify that when the form is submitted you have to do the action name and then you do on equal to submit so if i do this is the modifier here that's now it won't only um it won't listen for any click events it will listen to only submit event okay so let's go out in our browser and we refresh and now when i click this input field here nothing happens until when i submit the form so i'll just say lamin which is my name and i'll click on submit and as you can see, it says the first name is Lamin. Likewise, for when I um, click inside the text box and I click the enter key on my keyboard, you're not seeing that, but it just um, pops up the alert box as well. So an enter and a click on the submit, they're both submitting the form. So that's it guys for this tutorial video. And um, if you have any questions, just post them down in the comments below. And if this was useful or helpful in any way, please do comment and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you in another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.